What's up, you crazies? It's us again, back for another entertaining news segment with Captain Marvel and that drop that was so freaking awesome, man. The new trailer, yeah, finally, yeah, after all yeah. this time. Excited. And some weird Joker. Some really, really, really weird Joker. All right, this time, a miscast entertainment news. Mm. Drop that logo like it's hot, yo. Boom. <laughs> it's 1997 all of a sudden. Here's Tony. I love the smell of my cup in the morning. Get to the chopper. Say hello to my new friend. I'm going to make him an offer again. This is Sparta. You're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's Y2K all over again. <laughs> Welcome back, you miscast miscreants, to another episode of Miscast Entertainment News with your massively awesome host, JJ. That's... Very accurate statement. The massive or awesome? Both. <laughs> and the magnificent of magnificence. Oh, that, Greg. that's also true. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and me, William. That's true. All right, we're going to get right into it with the news. We've got some cool stuff today. we got some comic book stuff all around. Yeah. That's all it is, is comic book stuff. Whoa. Greg? Yeah, so first up, Captain Marvel trailer drop, right? Whoa, I saw it. You saw it? And the internet. On on the interwebs. Super All cool. Yeah. Crashes into a blockbuster. Yeah. So now we know it's like it happened many years ago. Right. Or in the last time. It's, it's Brilliant. Brilliant. Really it's a period piece. It's a, it is a period piece. Really. She also wears a nine inch nail shirt, which everybody's going, you know. Yeah. So yeah, so you got that. So she crashes into a blockbuster, denoting that this is going to be a blockbuster as well. A blockbuster movie. A blockbuster in a blockbuster. It works on so many levels. <sighs> so clever. So, so brilliant. That was your thoughts on it. You got any uh, anything else? Well, there was a, apparently like a bunch of like characters coming up, like guys just coming out of the water dressed in green and the suit and blah, blah. I really don't know anything about that stuff. I really don't care. I never read any of the comics, but I'm excited to see the movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same way. <laughs> hey, you got to You got to First step is admitting it. So um, but William, you you know a little bit more about the history of this character and everything, right? Uh, I was never really, <clears throat> excuse me, mm. I was never really a fan of Captain Marvel in the comics. Uh, I know that makes me an asshole, but now that she's in the uh, Marvel one nine 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 universe, <laughs> that's the cinematic. Is that enough nines? That's the cinematic universe, yo. So uh, yeah, she's. I thought it was cool. She looks good. Uh, I really am glad they used the Kree helmets. That was the thing that I thought I took away the the most. Uh, pleasure from was seeing the the actual like usually this, these superhero movies change the costumes so significantly that you know they're so far from the comic because the comics are usually cheesy but uh you were saying earlier you're like this this helmet yeah when i saw it in the comics when i saw the initial uh drawings from the comics and i was like oh there's no way this is gonna work i'm glad they're not using it you know uh, it's not gonna translate cinematically but i think it looks awesome now that i've seen the trailer yeah, um, I think it looks pretty pretty badass overall. I think this trailer looks it's pretty great. I for some reason you said people are kind of crapping on it, but uh, uh, well because I think that uh, and you guys don't even bitch that comment section is always blank. So if you got bitching to do, bitch in the comment section. There but you go. but uh, a lot of people they don't know who Captain Marvel is, you know, and so that's honestly, why they're bitching. Yeah, well, honestly, half the people that watch these movies have never read a goddamn comic. So that's me. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you got the diehards like me that are like digging, digging, digging into like the, the lore and how much are you taking from the actual 616 universe and putting into this universe and what, what other universes of Marvel are you putting into it? They wow. completely changed everything, but I like the way the MCU changes the comics. I think they make them really friendly to people like you guys that don't really get into the comic. I mean, you're more into the comics than JJ, but I'm but more into these movies. I like these movies. I like I like independent yeah, graphic right. novels. I know. Yeah. I can't I can't get into every time I like I pick up one of these right. comics, I feel like there's like years of content that I miss right, and it right. immediately turns me off. Well, I like decades. I, I like yeah. starting comics from the very beginning and I think that for me, I feel it's just too late right. to get into it. I definitely think that this is a, a good start to the next phase of the Marvel Universe. This, is, this, this trailer to me showed what the next level is going to be because they are going to phase out the people we're used to, Captain America, Iron Man. All those guys are going away. This is the new generation. So she is like the new Captain America leading the charge. Yeah, kinda. she. Sh I would. I would. Make I would think. Her, I would think. I would make her more akin to the new Thor. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know who's going to lead the team. Maybe it's her, but I don't. I'm not sure. I, I, well, that's where I was going with it in terms of who basically is leading, being the leader of. I'm I'm going to think that more that she's more like the power of Thor for the new Avengers that's going forward now. After we get the next and final installment of the Avengers, um, I'm just going to leave it there because I don't want to speculate too much because you know a lot more stuff's going to happen, guys. And, yeah. And we'll we'll go from there. Yeah, so but we're all on. excited. We're all excited about that one. Yeah, so next up, uh, there was a couple of pictures and maybe some uh, um, film footage or uh, uh, footage of a scene being shot of Joaquin Phoenix as uh, Arthur in uh, uh, this Joker movie. The Joker's name is Arthur. His name is Arthur in this movie. So yeah. So uh, what did you think about the way that Arthur Joker looks? Oh man, uh, it's so hard. It's so hard to get your mind away from uh, the Joker that we saw in The Dark Knight. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger's Joker sticks with me so hard that now I can't see any other Joker past that. Right. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Or maybe that was just like the Joker of my generation. Yeah. And that's why like, I'm clinging to it so bad because when I look at Joaquin Phoenix in it, he looks more like just kind of like, um, like a drunk... A burnout almost, a right? A drunk burnout, just kind of like putting clown makeup on. And honestly, I, I think it makes for a very, very entertaining movie. I'm super excited about this movie. Hopefully, they don't screw it up. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, every new image that comes out, I get a little bit more excited about it. I thought, I don't know, like I, I he does look like a burnout. I, I'm... I mean, this is going to be directed by Todd Phillips, who directed The Hangover and those kind of and those movies, you know. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how he does with a, uh, a serious movie, you know, because um, I guess it's supposed to be a dark, gritty. Do we know story. if it's going to be serious or is it going to be? I mean, do we know that yet? I I, I think it's going to be uh, it's going the dark and gritty route rather than uh, I mean that that scene that they uh, that we saw the um, uh, being shot with Joaquin Phoenix and a. a guy a, a larger man dressed as a clown yeah um kind of had that 70s uh uh gritty kind of look to it you know with the way or early 80s at least um so i do think that they're going that route i don't think it's going to be a, a slapstick comedy at all by any means so when you uh when you say like when i grew up the joker my initial uh mind snaps to um white makeup painted over a uh, mustache for the 1960s Batman yeah, series. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Then the first time I saw the Joker portrayed as an actual character with depth and amazement was Jack Nicholson. You can call me Joker. Then when I saw the first time a Joker became a reality, like a real, like something I could see when I went into a bank, that's Heath Ledger. Mm-hmm. Now to see Joaquin take this role, it gives me hope. And it gives me hope because if you know Alan Moore's story of The Killing Joke, the Joker starts off as a failed comedian with a family. He's a nice person. He's really struggling to do his shit. And I feel like that's what these images are showing us. The behind the scenes, the glimpses we're getting from the paparazzi photos and blah, blah, blah. We're seeing that Alan Moore rendition of the Joker. I don't want to connect it to any of the other Joker movies. I feel like this is the Joker's movie. And let's right. leave it alone at that and just let it become what it is and, and judge it when we see it. All right, and that brings us to our last story real quick. Um, apparently, since you mentioned Jared Leto's Joker, there is a script for that Joker and uh, Harley Quinn movie with Leto and Margot Robbie. Um, the writers of the script, Glenn Ficarra and John Requa, uh, who wrote Crazy Stupid Love, described it as a mix of their work as on Bad Santa and This Is Us. Mm. That's it's quite the mashup, if you ask me. It's kind yeah. of a weird mashup. Um, so uh, the quote is from them is, it was sort of like we wrote Bad Santa a couple of years ago, and it was that sensibility mixed with our This Is Us sensibility. We kind of meshed them together. We were doing a relationship movie, but with the sensibility of a bad Santa, fucked up mentally, <laughs> deranged people, it was a lot of fun. I'm on my fucking lunch break, okay? I have zero desire to see Jared Leto and uh, to see them return to this version of the Joker. I mean, Suicide Squad was such an abomination of a movie. <sighs> Man, I'm going to be compelled to watch the movie. I don't know sure. why. 
I know it's gonna be bad, but I'm still gonna watch it. Wow. Sure. And then I'm gonna I'm boycotting. Just, and then I'm gonna bastard. complain about it. <laughs> you know, because I think it's it's these movies, these bad movies that we know they're gonna be bad movies. They're almost like memes before memes are even created right. for them. <laughs> right. And if you don't watch it, you're just not gonna be part of the meme. So that's a good point. So for for that, we, we, I mean, they've suckered us into watching these movies. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I I don't I don't think it's gonna be. I'm with you on that. Oh, you're looking at me. Yeah, what are you? Uh, oh, you got to get your thoughts. I'm on done it. with Jared Leto as the Joker. Yeah. I never liked him to I, begin with. Like, disaster. I don't like the ghetto Joker. I'm sorry. No. Like, that's just not my cup of tea. I, yeah. I'm a classic Joker kind of guy, and and pull off that, you know, like make it your own on that respect. But don't don't shave your freaking head to a crew cut. Don't put in some gold teeth so you can look Damn. like. Uh, whatever the tattoos are ugly you know they remind me of those youtube kids don't let your kid be little tay whatever that guy's name is or 69 yeah so i got a public service announcement but before i get to that i want to show off these (laughs) made by jimmy boy you know what i'm saying he flexed up on that one yeah because i figure that's what this guy's modeled on or or vice versa it doesn't matter because i don't like Jared Leto's version of the Joker. I think it's bull crap. I think that's why Ben Affleck quit. So like, <laughs> I think that's why didn't Harley want to Quinn, come back and be in that yeah, movie. Yeah. Harley okay. Quinn's accent even ran away from the Oof. Jared Leto, Leto Joker. So the DCU has such a bad track record. I really I don't know even where to. to right. You can't predict anything with this right. damn studio anymore. So. Well, you can predict it's going to be bad. That's pretty much yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. face, yeah. Okay. Take that to the All bank. Right. Stand <laughs> you can predict it's going to suck. I stand corrected. <laughs> take I'm that sorry. to the bank. Yeah, take it. So that's the news, folks. As usual, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And please like this video as well and comment below because this guy actually cries. He might look like a big guy with a beard. But he has tears, man. Massive man tears. They're salty, too. I have leave wet spots. All right, guys. Next time. Peace. I want to show off these. (laughs) Made by Jimmy Boy, you know what I'm saying? He flexed up on that one. But I want to make a public service announcement for these past couple of days. I've seen, like, a couple of females that are trying to expose me or some shit. Like, it's a lot of you. Like, I can't even name certain. It's, It's a lot of you.